Yo, yo, everyone, Twister for Thousand here. I'm going to do a quick, quick, quick little audio tutorial on high pass and low pass filters in Audacity. The version I'm using specifically is Audacity 1.3 Beta. Yeah. Um, I don't really like making tutorials that often, but every now and then I have some interesting stuff I want to show, and, and yeah, this is an animation channel, but occasionally there's some creative people who watch it as well, and they want to do their own animation or audio stuff, audio for the animation or whatever, so that's why I do tutorials. We won't have many more of these, like I always say, I don't have these very often, but occasionally I do. Um, I actually do have a couple of videos coming out very, very soon, and I have them finished and everything, it's just I have specific dates when I want to release them, so they're not all clustered up into one section. Okay? Alright. So I'm going to show you high-pass and low-pass filters. High-pass filters can get you a very, like a radio effect, someone's over the radio, and low-pass filters give you the opposite, almost. Like someone's behind the wall, or something. someone's in another room, someone's in a closet, someone's inside a box, in a crate, you know, that muffled sort of sound. Yeah, that's what a low-pass filter does. And high-pass filters super trebly. Like, no bass at all. It's just... I'm all congested because it's cold out. Oh, okay. Let's get, let's go on with this. Um, so, first I'm going to show you the radio effect with the high-pass filter. Let me be some guy of the radio. All right, man. We need to send in some troops over so we can frick something. I don't know. I don't have the scripted or anything. Um, yeah, so here it is. All right, man. We need to send in some troops over so we can frick something. Okay, so you highlight it, effect, high pass filter, I'm not gonna screw with the numbers or anything, you can if you want, I, I don't really know how to work it, it doesn't really matter, I just press OK and it's usually fine, but I can always repeat the effect and do it twice if I want it more um, intense. So here's the audio right there, uh, and you can see it kind of shrunk, so I'm just gonna effect amplify and not screw with the numbers, and then we'll get it as loud as it can without clipping it. Alright man. We need to send in some troops over so... So it's a little more of a radio effect. I'm going to repeat... Oh, no, whoops. I repeated the amplify. I'm going to repeat the high-pass filter again, and then I'm going to amplify it again. So now it's a little bit more of an intense effect. All right, man. We need to send in some troops over so we can... Frick something. All right. That's pretty much it. And another thing, you don't have to do this. This is a little bit kind of more advanced, but I just kind of figured it out, and I think it's kind of cool, is once you have the high-pass filter on, if you amplify it, I see it says zero because it's the loudest it could possibly be. If I go any higher than that, it's not going to allow me to press OK unless I check allow clipping. That means it's going to trim off some of the audio because it's getting too big for the thingy. So the quality won't be as good. See, it's like really loud right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the volume on this. And so then you'll get sort of like an amplified sound over the radio. It's kind of cool. All right, man. We need to send in some troops over so we can... Yeah. So, pretty cool. Yep, that's the radio effect. And now, what I think is even more useful most of the time is the low-pass filter, you know, muffled effect. Uh, hee <laughs> I'm inside a box. <laughs> We're going to take that. Here, here's how it originally sounds. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm inside a box. <laughs> and then effect... Low pass filter, same exact thing, same numbers and everything. I'm not gonna screw with them. I press OK. I'm gonna amplify it. <laughs> I'm inside a box. Ah! See, it sounds kind of muffled. I'm gonna do it twice so I get more intense effect here. All right. <laughs> I'm inside a box. Ah! Yeah. So that is the low pass filter, and I also showed you the high pass filter. So high pass filter is a radio type thing, then low pass filter gives you muffled kind of noise. Now here's a secret thing I figured out accidentally. I just kind of felt like it. If you do both high pass and low pass filters, what is that going to do? Let's find out. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm inside a box and I'm on the radio. We're going to highlight that. Let's go high pass filter and then amplify it. And then I'm going to go low pass filter, amplify it again. High pass and low pass filter, what's that going to sound like? <laughs> I'm inside a box and I'm on the radio. See, that kind of has what I think is sort of a phone sound. It's not quite a radio, but it's like a cell phone, just a phone. <laughs> I'm inside a box and I'm on the radio. Yeah, because I was like freaking pulling my hair out trying to figure out how to get a phone effect because there's movies that, that are making and a lot of stuff comes up where they're on the phone 
and I don't really want a radio effect, I just want a phone effect. Well, that's probably how you do it. It's high pass and low pass filter. That's, I mean, again, you could screw around with the numbers and all that. I'm just not going to do that. So, hope that was helpful to y'all. See ya.